What is going on guys? So today I'm going to do a quick little video on enlisted and officer MOS's and why that they are actually different. All right, so before I get into this video, I want to let you guys know about my personal challenge coins right here. These are my little challenge coins that I have. The only ways that you can get these as of right now is if you were to order something on my store or my shop, $100 or more, I will personally mail you guys out one of these coins. I'm not actually selling these, so you have to get through a certain uh, different ways, right? So for this little special that I'm doing, I figure I'm going to be a first lieutenant coming up soon. And these are my second lieutenant coins and I've got some left over. So I figured for you guys, the first five people to get one of these t-shirts in an order of at least two items, I'm gonna send you guys one of these little coins. It's definitely gonna be worth it. These things are worth a good little bit. So I'm just doing a little self promo on these coins. If you want one, it's limited. There's not that many of them. That's how you get it. Now, like a lot of my other videos, I make them on topics that you have asked me through DMs, through comments, through Snapchat messages or whatever. And this is no exception. This is a quick little video, but it's one that I get asked a lot and I didn't really know how to incorporate it into another video. Basically, a lot of people are wanting to become officers at some point in time and they really like enlisted MOSs. And one of the common things that I get and a question is, hey, I really like a 68 whiskey. I like combat medic. But at the same time, I want to be an officer. Can I be an officer and a 68 whiskey at the same time? And the answer is no. Enlisted and officer MOSs are different. They're not the same. They do not overlap at all. So I want to do a quick little explanation of why that is, right? So we have like, I don't know, 170 different MOSs in the Army. That's 170 different jobs, specific jobs, right? You can do cross training and all this other stuff, but it's not really your actual job if you're just cross training, you're just cross training in that specific field, but you're not gonna be doing that really on the officer side of things really that much. But on the enlisted side, yes, you might be able to do that. You might be able to cross train, do a different MOS for 25 series. That's pretty common in my opinion, but let's say you wanna be a 68 whiskey. You wanna be a combat medic and you really enjoy that MOS and you don't wanna change it. But at the same time, you've got that feeling that you wanna become an officer in the army. Well. If you want to be an officer, you're going to have to change your MOS to that 68 series officer MOS. And the reason for this is because enlisted MOSs, you have a very specific job that you're supposed to do. Like you have that job. You have a certain set of skills that you're supposed to be proficient at. You're supposed to know how to do that. Pretty much everything else in the army, you don't really have to know how to do it, right? You just have to know your job. Now for officers, it's a little bit different because you have all the different branches of the army and all those different branches are combined of the different MOSs that make up that branch. I'm trying to explain this in a very simple way. So again, it's pretty simple for signal because I'm signal and I can explain that a lot easier. So with the signal right now, I think there's like, I don't know, like 15 or 20 different MOSs. It's ridiculous how many enlisted MOSs are in the signal branch. Now that I'm a signal officer, I'm no longer a 25 Bravo anymore. I'm now a 25 Alpha, which is a signal officer. That is the name of that MOS. If, if I wanted to be a 25 Bravo, I would have just had to stay enlisted. Now signal officers, as well as other branch officers, you're going to learn the gist of all the different MOSs that are in your branch. So if you're a 68 Whiskey and you switch over to be a medical officer, well then you're gonna know a little bit about that 68 Whiskey MOS you know, for that medical officer, but you're not gonna be as in depth as you would be if you were enlisted. Because officers, you are basically managers. You are in charge of people. You're not doing as much of that dirty hands, you know, working and stuff like that. You're gonna be doing, you know, like I've talked about in other videos, you're gonna be doing a little bit more paperwork than you're gonna be doing hands getting dirty work. So for that reason, enlisted and officer MOSs don't overlap because it just doesn't make sense because the jobs aren't the same. You have an MOS, that is your job. If you switch to a different job, it's not the same MOS anymore, if that makes sense. It's kind of simple whenever you really think about it. And I do understand a lot of people who are kind of new to the military might not understand it. You might think you join with this job and just because you rank up doesn't mean that you have to change your MOS. And it actually is true. Even if you're on the enlisted side, you know, reaching like first sergeant or sergeant major or something like that, you in, in some cases have to actually switch your MOS to become that rank. So that's my little explanation on why enlisted and officer MOSs are different. And then also if you want to become an officer, why your MOS can't stay the same anymore. So that's it for this video. Make sure you guys check out one of these coins. If you want one, it's pretty simple. Two items in your order. One of these t-shirts is in that cart. 
and I'm gonna send you out one of those. Super, 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 super simple. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. That'd be awesome if you check out some more of my videos. Hit that subscribe button. That would be even better if you want to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Social media links are right there. I hope you guys have an amazing freaking day, and I will see you later.